At Frame Fixers Eyeglass Repair, we offer a wide variety of repair services on metal eyeglass frames as well as plastic ones. This particular video concerns itself with the particulars of metal eyeglass frame repair. This is a fairly typical modern metal eyeglass frame. It's interesting to note that on a frame like this, there's a wide variety of welds, any of which can become a problem if they should separate. Typically, the weld at the nose bridge going into the channel material surrounding the lenses is one of the spots that very commonly breaks. And this can be as the result of fatigue, the result of adjusting the glasses, but this is a spot that we are frequently called upon to rejoin because they have separated. Another spot, probably because of adjustment as well, are the nose pad harp arms. These are the small arches on the back side that hold the nose pads and affix them to the edge of the channels. They can break at the attachment point. They can um, break at the cup that receives the nub that comes out of the nose pad or they could break in between. Any one of those might need it to be welded in order to return a pair of frames that someone has invested in prescription glasses, lenses, as well as the frame itself and return them to use by doing that weld. Following it, of course, by refinishing the surface to match the original color. The lens hoops themselves, those that surround the lenses on metal frames, are commonly a problem, both because they've broken or in the course of them being uh, flexed, they will expand and the lens itself will no longer be retained as it should be in the hoop. And in that case, we sometimes have to shorten the hoop by relocating the hinge blocks. Those are the little areas where the screw passes through and captures the lens. We will shorten the hoop, re-weld it at that point, and then the frame will once again have a zero tolerance for retaining the lens, and that allows it to be placed back into service with a one-year warranty and used once again by the owner. <clears throat> Another spot that does tend to break is the weld where the nerf or the sidebar comes off of the frame and proceeds onto the hinge. This is a very, very common breaking point. Very uh, frequently it's the right side, not the left, because people being predominantly right-handed will pull on the temple at that point before removing the glasses. Metal frames also are notorious for breaking right at the hinge. Obviously that is one spot where on this one there are simply an open and closed hinge and that particular one can be repaired relatively easy. There are also, of course, metal frames in which the hinge is spring-loaded. goes out and back and that spring, when it breaks, has to be replaced in order to return the frame to service. Then we have the actual temple arm itself, which extends back from the attachment point, goes back over the ear, and has to be welded at one of the points at which it tends to break. And again, sometimes this is the result of adjustment, sometimes it is the result of just common everyday wear. But in all cases, as long as you have most of the piece remaining, we can, in fact, replace it or repair it and return the frame itself to service. The goal being um, to save the prescription lenses, obviously, and also if you happen to like that frame a great deal, replacing the temple arms is not that big a deal. Uh, it's certainly something that we have, oh, right now probably close to 32,000 sets of matched eyeglass temple frames in stock that can be used to replace a simple metal one like this. It might be a more complex one with a cable end like that. We can also save a temple arm by replacing the hinge block itself. In this particular one, this is a three-leave hinge block which goes with an American optical model that was popular in the 60s. We have vintage, we have modern, we have antique. All of these can be done. Another interesting problem is when we get in a frame which has what's called combination materials, where it's metal at the hinge and then goes to plastic, or, even more interesting, an exotic wood. Here's a beautiful piece of, I believe this is cypress, 
Um, there's a number of companies that are using exotic woods. This one has a beautiful rivet pattern holding the hinge block at the front. And this is a case where a metal frame starts as metal in the front but continues with an alternate material on the sides. In this case it could have a hinge with a spring. In this case it does not, but that needs to be attended to when it breaks to return it to the frame front to return the prescription lenses to the wearer. Another type of metal frame that produces a problem is of course a semi-rimless. That is a frame that has a clear wire, retainer wire on the bottom side and sometimes it's simply a matter of replacing the clear wire and that's a simple job. It's an inexpensive and quick uh, service that we provide and it goes right back out usually the same day it comes in. However, one of the characteristics of semi-rimless is that the metal channel that receives the clear wire at the bottom tends to split down through the two cinching holes and you wind up with a metal flange which cannot be used to hold the clear wire. In that case it does need to be welded and redrilled and re-established as a cinching point for the clear wire to go in and be repaired at that point. Another example of combination materials needing to be repaired happened to come in this morning. This is a beautiful vintage pair of Ferragamo sunglasses. Beautiful, beautiful piece in an exotic color. Wonderful design. Where the frame stops being metal, which is right at the hinge right here, and becomes plastic, which is right here, the attachment point, which is a rivet, ironically, through the plastic into the metal has has separated and that's simply a matter of <clears throat> using riveting tools to reattach that hinged attachment point right here and return these beautiful glasses to use. So wonderful um, opportunity to work on a real piece of design history here. Ferragamo is um, just known for some spectacular designs and this one is no no exception. One of the last things that comes up in metal glasses are the screws. And this is something that we've spoken about in other videos, but just to mention it here is part of the services that we do provide for metal frames and plastic frames as well, are the screws, which can be stripped, can be broken, the heads can be sheared off, they can become chronically loose if both the receiver hole threads or the screw itself is not robust and fresh. And that's something that we attend to very frequently, where we'll, we'll either tap it up to the next largest size screw and affix it with a good optical screw to make it, once again, a reliable retainer, or fill it, drill it, and tap a similar size optical screw hole, again, making it as it was when it was new, giving it a one-year guarantee, and setting it out and returning prescription glasses and a loved frame back to the owner. For with a full year warranty. This ironically is a double bar frame. Very common to have that double top bar. This was popularized particular by Bosch and Lom in their famous aviators. But that is also four weld points, any one of which can separate. And that's a frequent request that we get in, is to reattach the top bars on a double bar aviator or what we call an engineer frame. Um, a technical frame in order to return the prescription lenses back to the owner with a full year warranty. That's a particularly nice frame right here. It's a Wiley. Nice piece. Very nice piece. And that is metal eyeglass frames and the repair, the variety of services that we offer. This spring one in particular, which came in, I think, um, for the spring. It wasn't the actual attachment point with the screw, but the spring that had broken, and that one was repaired by simply inserting a new spring. And that is metal eyeglass frame repairs offered by Frame Fixers Eyeglass. Thank you for watching. Do watch our other videos. Have a wonderful day.